Good day, learners! Welcome to Black Science! Here, you can learn bite-sized contents and enjoy simple tasks. I am Teacher Leonard, and together, let us discover the mystery of things through science. For today's lesson, you'll be able to discover how light interacts with different materials. But before that, let us have a quick review of our previous topic about conductors of heat and electricity. Get your pen and paper, because we're going to play Name It to Win! For this game, I'll be posting pictures of different objects, and what we have to do is to identify if that object is an insulator or a conductor. Remember that you only have 5 seconds to write the answer on your paper. Are you ready? Let us begin with picture number one. As you can see, I am here, jumbled letters. Can you help me guess the right word for these letters? Don't worry, because we got clues to help us find the right word for these letters. First clue, we usually see this in the sky. Second clue, it is very colorful. I think I already know the answer, and I bet you also do, but let us hear the third clue. We often hear a saying that it comes always after the rain. Hmm. Brilliant! The right word is rainbow! We usually see a rainbow in the sky after the rain, and it looks wonderful because of its beautiful colors. Tunay na nakatuntuwa at nakabibighan kapag tayo ay nakakakita ng panghari sa langit. But, can we see a rainbow when there is no light? Hmm, definitely not. We see a rainbow because of the interaction between the light coming from the sun and the tiny raindrops in the sky. Because of this interaction, we are able to see the colors of rainbows. To know more about light, let us proceed with our discussion. Light, or visible light, can be seen through our eyes. Ito ang liwanag na nakikita ng ating mga mata. And its primary source is the sun. Because of the light, or visible light, we are able to see colors that is not absorbed by objects. Look at this object. Nakikita natin ang dahon na kulay green. Ibig sabihin, ang lahat ng colors mula sa visible light ay naabsorb ng dahon maliban sa color na green. Another one, nakikita natin ang mansanas na color red. Ibig sabihin, ang lahat ng color mula sa visible light ay naabsorb ng mansanas maliban sa color na red. To understand light further, we will study how it interacts with different materials. Test time! For this test, you need a glass of water and a pen. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin ay ilagay ang lapis sa loob ng baso na may namang tubig. You can pause the video and observe what happened. Let's see the results! Can ito rin ba ang inyong nakita? What happened to the pencil? Let's find out 
asked why this happened. Based on your observation, the straw or the pen in a glass of water appears to be bent. Why do you think so? It is because ang parte ng straw o ng pen na hindi nakalubog sa tubig ay naging interact sa hangin. Samantala, ang parte ng straw o ng pen na nakalubog sa tubig ay naging interact naman sa tubig. Tandaan natin na ang light ay mas mabilis mag-travel sa air kaysa sa water. Kaya nakikita natin ang straw o ang pen na nababali o nabibend. This process is called refraction. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes through different materials. Now, do you have a mirror at home? Try to look at yourself in the mirror. Of course, you'll be able to see yourself. But, what do you think is the reason behind it? The answer is because of the process called reflection. What is reflection? Reflection is the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Gaya ng bola na kapag tinapon mo sa pader, ay tatanggong pala yung o pabalik sa iyo. This is also the reason why we are able to see ourselves when we look at the mirror. Ang light na tumatama sa mirror ay tumatalbog pa palayo o tumatalbog sa atin kaya't nakikita natin ang ating sarili. Now, look at the screen. What color do you see? Yes, black. B-L-A-C-K, black. Alam niyo ba na kapag black ang isang object, all the light from the sun is being absorbed by that object and no color is being reflected. Kabaligtaran kapag white o puti ang isang bagay. All the light is being reflected and no color is being absorbed. The process of materials taking in or absorbing light and not reflecting it back is called absorption. Test time! Prepare the following materials. A flashlight, a clear plastic, a flat wood, and a piece of paper. You can pause this video so you can follow these instructions. The interaction of light and the objects that you have experimented with is called transmission. It refers to the passing of light through some materials. Ito ang paglampas ng ilaw o light sa iba't ibang objects. Like what you did when you point the light to a clear plastic. What was your observation? Lahat ba ng ilaw ay lumagpas sa clear plastic? Yes! Because that material is called transparent. Transparent material allows all the light to pass through them. Other examples are glass windows and eyeglasses. Now, what was your observation when you point the light to a piece of paper? Lumagpas ba ang lahat ng ilaw sa papel? Hindi, pero meron din lumagpas because this material is called translucent material. It allows some light to pass through them. Other examples are stained glass and frosted windows. And lastly, what was your observation when you point the light to a flat wood? Did the light passes through? No, because this material is called opaque. Opaque materials does not allow light to pass through them. Other examples are concrete walls and mirrors. 
All right, and that is how light interacts with different materials. Ang tawag sa pag-aaral ng branch na ito ng science is called optics. Here, we study about refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission. We also study about different materials such as transparent, translucent, and opaque materials. And at this point, let us see if you understand our lesson today. Get your pen and paper and let us answer learning task number five. For this task, you have to identify if the object is a transparent, translucent, or an opaque material. You can pause the video while answering the questions. Now, for learning task number 6, read the following questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. You can pause the video for each question. Congratulations, learners! Now, for learning task number 7, match the description in column A to the correct answer in column B. Let us begin! You can pause the video while answering the questions. Good job, learners! For your reflection, what is your significant learning? Where can this lesson be used or applied in your daily life? Great job, learners! I know that you have enjoyed and discovered new things today. I am Teacher Leonard saying goodbye and see you on our next Blast Science!